I mean, my family kept it pretty simple this year. I stayed home and watched a movie so that my mom could spend the whole time asking where she knew that one actress from. And my dad, of course, spent the whole movie trying to guess the ending. But you know what? Enough about him. His day's in June. Anybody else celebrate their mommies yesterday? Hi, Tofographic. Hi, Justin. Well, yesterday was about mom. And moms do the hard work 365 days a year, 366 on leap years. So, you know, they're allowed to have a day to do whatever they want. To moms everywhere, we love you. And to my mom, mom, I love you so much. You're the best. You have a phone call? Who is it? It's your mom. Mom, I'm, mom, I'm in the middle of a show right now. You, you literally had all day yesterday. What, the French toast wasn't enough for you? Mom, you get one day, one day a year. So yeah, well, I'll talk to you next year. Okay, okay, bye. Oh my God, moms, right? Okay, friends, here's how the game's gonna work. You'll have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions each. When a new question appears on your screen, choose carefully because once you tap, there is no going back. If you get one wrong though, just keep playing. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you're holding your phone vertically. Your winnings will appear in your display bank if you've got an active and fully completed display profile. Yeah? You feel good about this? Any questions? I mean, I might not be your mom, but you know, I'm still here to lend a helping hand. Mom always gave the best advice. My favorite? Um, don't eat that. Don't eat that. But my second favorite would be practice makes perfect. So let's do a quick practice question. Would you rather how I met your mother, brother from another mother. Mother, may I select my answer on this practice quiz? How I met your mother. Um, my dad started was at a Hall & Oates concert. That's true, that's how my dad met my mom. It's kind of cute, right? True story. 50% of you chose how I met your mother. Are you all ready for the mother of all quizzes? I hope so, because it's time for Display Trivia. Who's ready to do this thing? Let's do some shout outs. We got George676 here. Ooh la la, are you ready? <laughs> that was fun, I, I like saying that. SJDP103, Capper7 is ready. Daniel1210, Lang Louis says, good luck everyone, and I think that's the cue we need. Let's do it. Question one. Bangs cover this body part. Forehead, stomach, lips. Bangs cover your forehead, and real friends cover your butt when you mess up. Either way, great to have some coverage. You know, one could also argue that a mustache is the bangs of the upper lip, but you know, we'll save that for another day. 93% of you need no covering up. You got this. Question two. The color of a green screen is yellow, purple, green. I mean, nothing against a green screen, but we do not use it on this show, okay? Like, I am literally in space. What? Don't look at me like I'm crazy. You don't believe me? <laughs> Are you serious? Like, if I were in space, could I be in a coral reef immediately after? <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely underwater right now. Oh, oh, this octopus over here is trying to hug me. We could not fake this if we wanted to. Stop, stop making me feel like I'm crazy. Okay, fine, you know what, I'll prove it, I'll prove it. I am in the internet. I can see everything and let me tell you, your search history is weird. Fine, you know what, don't believe me. You don't have to believe the truth. 96% of you are going for the green. Question three. A parent that hovers is referred to as this, taxi, helicopter, tour bus. Whoa, I mean, what I would give for a parent who could hover. Like mine could only walk, run, you know, if they really wanted to, but never hover. Of course, this hovering is metaphorical. A parent 
who just wouldn't get off your back, that's a helicopter parent. It definitely sounds cooler than it is. A jetpack parent, though? I mean, yeah, sign me up for one of those. 94% of you got it. Question four. Morph suits are made from this material, leather, spandex, flannel. I mean, a staple of every practical woman's wardrobe, really. The little black dress, the sensible yet stylish flats, and, of course, the morph suit. I mean, I wouldn't be caught dead without one. And the way the spandex hugs every curve and crevice, darling, say less. 95% of you are morphing into some winners today. Question five. All of the following globes exist in Google Earth's library except the Sun, the Moon, Mars. I only look at Google Maps in 2D. I refuse to use the globe feature. I mean, the Earth is flat after all. I'm kidding. I mean, I, like any sensible person, know that the Earth is very much a cube. And Google has mapped out the Moon and Mars for your viewing pleasure. Now, if you want to see the Sun, we at Display legally have to say that we do not recommend that you go outside and stare at it. Ooh, a savage question. 26% of you, though, you are shining bright through this one. You got it. Question six. This locale is considered the birthplace of hip hop, Memphis, Oakland, the Bronx. Do we think hip hop's mom had a baby shower? That was probably a pretty lit party. Oh, thanks everyone for all the thoughtful bling. Oh, the baby is going to love this. Hip hop was born and raised in New York City, the boogie down Bronx to be exact. 88% of you showing up with some swag today, and it's question seven. The titular bikini in the 1960s song is all of the following except striped, teeny weeny, itsy bitsy. We're all probably starting to think about beach bodies. How do you get a beach body? Well, I'll tell you. Have a body and go to the beach. Or of course, I mean, you could steal one from the local morgue, dress it up like your uncle and prop it upright all day so everyone thinks you're on vacay with a very stiff person. I'll never know, no. The bikini from the 1960 track was itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, yellow polka dot, but not striped. It wasn't striped and 50% of you got that. Question eight. Inu is Japanese for this animal. Mouse, dog, cat. In the words of Randy Jackson, that's gonna be a yes for me, dog. In every language, because Inu is Japanese for dog. That's why the names of some famous Japanese breeds are Shiba Inu, Akita Inu, Inu Poo. I mean, if that's not a thing yet, I'm sure it's about to be. But 90% of you fetched the right answer. Question nine. The final episode of this PBS cartoon showed the lead as grown up after a 25 year run. Dora the Explorer, Daniel Tiger, Arthur. Hmm. It's sad, but you know, all things must come to an end. Except the It's a Small World song at Disney. That thing has played on a loop for over 50 years and will continue playing long after the sun burns out. Beautiful. Arthur the Aardvark recently wrapped up his 25 year run on PBS showing up as a Brooklyn hipster in those wire rimmed glasses and normcore hoodie. We love to see it. 85% of you learned to work and play, thanks Arthur. It's time for the final question. Question 10. Up your bum is a toast in which country? Canada, Australia, Ireland. It's bad luck to toast with water. It's even worse luck to toast with toast, mostly because you'll just get crumbs everywhere if you're not careful. It's also bad luck to toast without making eye contact. Saying up your bum though? I mean, that's just an Australian thing. I don't think it's bad luck not to say it, but I definitely wouldn't cheer as a kangaroo. I mean, those things are vicious. 
And speaking of vicious, 82% of you absolutely slaying that last answer. Was it enough to get you the win today? To get you the win on a Monday and kick off your week victorious? Ooh, 98 winners today. That's $5 for each of you. What are you gonna spend it on? Uh, it's National Eat Whatever You Want Day, so I would say go buy yourself some food. Some pizza, a hot dog, some tacos, you do you. Whatever you wanna spend it on. By me, nine out of 10, so close. Adrian Ka got a five out of 10. Dogan got a three out of 10. Pre Morgan got a four. Ooh, Ray, 1911, you got your first win. That's awesome. Most Arrow got an eight. Casa Dolce Casa, three out of 10. Ooh, Bubble Bass won a 10 out of 10. Hugsy, eight out of 10. Happy Monday. Oh, gummy nuggets. Everything except Google Sky was so easy. Almost got the $5. Yeah, that Google Sky, that Google Globe question tripped a lot of people up, huh? Did you know that you could do that? See that in 3D? It's pretty cool. Oh, boop your nose. Birthplace of rap. Darn it. Who else? Wise King Domain got a one out of 10. And Mrs. 12, first win in months. And what a good one. Five bucks is not nothing. Tell me what you're gonna do with those winnings in the chat and continue to shout yourselves out if you won. What, Artan, how much points is that for winning money? No points, you get the money, honey. You got $5 in your display bank account. That is actual cash money that you can go spend however you please. David, 10 out of 10, Chico 99 FB. Winner, I love it. I'm so proud of all of you. Well, thank you so much for coming and playing. We do this every single weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern. If you want a free answer, I do that every single day as well prior to the trivia game. So tune into this stream. I give it away around 11.30, so come join us for that and I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Bye.